Welcome to this Windows 8 channel and today in our back to basics video we're going to show you how to uninstall apps and also how to uninstall programs. Now that's the biggest problem in Windows 8 understanding that there's a difference between apps and regular programs that are installed in your computer. And that's why there's um, basically a start screen and a desktop. Each behavior is different. But one thing that's nice is the fact that the start uh, screen, when you go to the, all the apps, actually shows you also programs. And it's going to send you to the right space. But I am still going to show you that there's really... Uh, you know, two ways of actually going through the apps and all of that. So first of all, when you are on the start screen, what you see on the tiles on the start screen, a lot of them are apps, but not all of them. Some are programs, some are apps. There's a, kind of a mix uh, in there. And so um, apps will uninstall directly from where they are by right-clicking. But programs, you'll need to go to the uninstalled programs. Uh, what's nice is that if you right click on anything, for example, here I'm going to go into um, one of my apps. For example, Bingo. I don't play Bingo on my um, Windows 8 machine. And this is a modern app. So this is an app that's on my start screen. If I want to uninstall an app, all I have to do is right click on it. One of the choices will be uninstall, and all you do is uninstall, and you can put that little check mark that says uninstall from all my synced PCs. What that means is that if you have multiple computers with Windows 8, then it will remove itself from all computers that have Windows 8. That is one of the positive points of Windows 8 is the sync functions. And you click uninstall, and it disappears from there and it is uninstalling from your apps in your computer so that's the good thing about um, you know uninstalling apps it's very very easy no questions nothing just uninstall if what you want to uninstall is not an app for example I want to uninstall Mozilla Firefox here this is a regular program that you download and you know you install you click to next 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 and so on uh, if you right click on it and say I want to uninstall, what it does is send you to the add remove programs or uninstall a program list. And an, a lot of you probably recognize this list from Windows 7 and actually even far away as Windows uh, X, XP. So it actually sends you to this list where you need to find the program you want to remove. So for example, I want to remove Mozilla Firefox. I'll click on it and just click uninstall and follow the uninstall instructions. So even though you are not, uh, this is not you know, a modern app for Windows 8, it still is available through um, the modern start screen interface and it's going to send you to the right place. If you want to see everything that's installed in computer, be it a program, be it an app, all you have to do is go to your start screen. You can click that start button, it will send you to the start screen. Or you can go into the charms bar to have the start screen if you want. And on the bottom left, there's a little arrow that points down. Click on that and this is going to give you all the programs and apps that are installed on your computer and I mean this can be really really long and really really big so this is everything installed on your computer that is shown here so you can use this list to uninstall what you don't want anymore so for example I don't want to have Sonic Dash I'll right click uninstall I'll click the uninstall from all my PCs and click on install that's easy. I have a program that I want to uninstall. 
let's say um, what do I have here that is a program um, hmm, I have this one Arbcom plotter doesn't work anymore I can right click uninstall and it's gonna send you to the programs and features in the control panel now what if you are able to you know you have the knowledge to know the difference between an app and a program then you can actually go directly to the source so if it's an app you know that you can go to the start screen and just you know cl right click the tile and uninstall it like I've shown you a little earlier uh, but if it's a program you can also go directly to the control panel uninstall a program all you have to do is right click on that start button and when you click on the start button at the top of the list you get programs and features you just go there and it brings you directly to where you want to uninstall the program so from here I'll uninstall arbcom plotter uninstall and I'll see yeah and that's it it uninstalls a program so uh, that's you know probably the little complex thing about Windows 8 um, understanding what's a, an app what's a program but it doesn't really matter because if you go to this list here on the start screen well all apps and programs are mixed together so you can simply right click uninstall and everything's gonna be fine and it's gonna send you to the proper space if it's an app well it is going to uninstall simply uh, directly from here and if it's a program it will send you to the programs and features list and there you can uninstall it so that's pretty much how it works on the Windows 8 machine so hope that you will be able to under uninstall pretty much whatever you want uh, one of the things that I would say to be careful on Windows um, 8 or you know any computers is when you're on that list of programs be careful not to uninstall programs that you might actually want to uh, that you actually don't know what they are because one of the biggest problems is that if you don't know what they are they can actually remove a function of Windows that is important to you a feature um, lots of the programs installed here are drivers and I've had a lot of clients actually um, uninstall drivers in their PCs because they wanted to really clean it up and remove all the things they didn't know what it was and finally have to call me because they just don't know how to bring it back and they have no more sound or the picture is crappy or so on so be careful uh, what you remove if you don't know what it is often it's better not to touch at all and uh, hope this video helps you understand a little more on how to uninstall programs in Windows 8 um, apps and programs. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, maybe you'd like to have a Back to the Basics episode of something specific in Windows 8, why not ask? I'll, and I'll, uh, you know, post that video online. And hopefully, if you have a Windows 8 computer and you're a little lost, why not take a peek through all our videos? We have hundreds of videos, more than 500 actually online, um, to help you learn how to use Windows 8.1. Thanks for watching.